Hello everyone and welcome to Deeply Rooted episode number 194. I'm your host Robin Norgren and I am the owner of Josie's Art School and Bright Child Montessori and I explore all things spiritual here on this podcast because I truly believe that everything is spiritual and that the way that we walk through life, not only in a more peaceful way, but in a more effective way, is to acknowledge, exceed exceed expectations in the way in which we view how spirituality can change a life and love, but love in a way that is very intentional, is not so emotion driven, and truly does shine light in the world. Yeah, those are big undertakings, and I'm so glad that we're going to work on that together. Welcome in. From my art journal and also a soon to be (laughs) journal that is available to you in 2023, here are my thoughts for today. There is a mixed media drawing of clothes on a clothes line moving in the wind. And the caption is, she got to the place of unwavering peace. Brene Brown says, owning our story and loving ourselves through that process is the bravest thing we will ever do. Here are some thoughts. When you think about your life story, what emotions come up for you? Are there more moments that you truly embrace as a source of pride? How can you build more of those moments in your life? How can you take some of those not so beautiful events and work through them in order to come to a place of peace? So um, this ad is sponsored by Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. It's free. There's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Today's invitation to imagine if imaginative prayer is titled God as Shepherd. Walking hand in hand with God. You're led through green meadows so that you can lie down and rest When you're tired, you feel safe, comfortable, relaxed. Feel the cool breeze against your skin and the warm sun on your face. Breathe in deeply the peace God offers you. Someone watches over you while you sleep. Rest a moment.
God, the creator of all of this, is good. God is the one who takes care of you, so everything you need is yours. When you feel thirsty, God leads you to a fresh dream. Feel the cool water. Taste its sweetness. Your soul is restored and refreshed as you journey with God. You are gently guided along paths that offer life to you and to others. Path, paths of good things. Paths of good things. Your heart is full. You really want to sing. Go ahead. Sing. Even when you walk through a dark, scary valley, there's nothing to fear. God is with you, protecting and comforting you. You'll never be left alone. Feel yourself lifted into God's strong arms as you journey through the dark. God prepares a banquet for you in the midst of all your fears. You are God's own. God blesses you with oil. Your joy overflows as you sit at the table and eat. Goodness and love will be with you always. You'll live in the house of love forever and ever. Stay in the beauty of this love that never ends. Dance. Play, rest, enjoy. What part of this meditation resonated with you the most? And why? Take some time, even later today, and imagine yourself in that place again. And share your heart with God and allow God to nurture you. Was there any part of the meditation you found difficult? Spend some time considering that with God. And also, do you sense an invitation from God? How 
are you drawn to respond? Diary of a Creative Entrepreneur. This selection is dated February 15th. Yesterday was the smoothest running shift. The co-teacher and I are in sync, a team. And even though it was Valentine's Day and a lot of activity going on, it went very smoothly. She was not feeling good, so I was hoping she'd be there today. We have, we all have another meeting on Friday about ODE. This time, just the assistants. I revamped my original sewing kits and decided to only bring back the ones I really love. I also decided to market them as beginner sewing machine kits because they are fun opportunities to make something cute in less than an hour on your sewing machine. And I made another prototype for my Basquiat inspired crown and started watching the videos for the paper mache class. I looked through the creative craft club craft component that I subscribed to and there's really nothing there that I can use so I canceled it. My YouTube videos for this week tape today. Josie has no practice again, so it will really throw off my productivity. February 16th. Three videos completed for YouTube this week. A practice experiment for ODE and a rain day today. We will see how it all comes together. One of the lead teachers wasn't feeling well yesterday. I can't believe we are in art week four of Artful Selling and this week's prep work is finding a shopping cart and an email service and opt-in items for building the mailing list. Josie has no practices again this week, so it has taken perseverance to find ways to keep on the tasks for the business. I am behind on thinking about who my ideal customer is. My little sister is back in the USA. Not sure how that will impact things other than I literally feel like I have two full-time jobs. February 17th. Went through my first rain day on the patio and still managed to do an art project and a science experiment. But I left feeling bloated and miserable in my body. We got our tax returns for re review and we officially have our down payment for our house. Now it's a matter of leveraging this feeling about my job into continuing to construct my business so it can be full-time supporting us once we get the house. Filled out the forms for the ideal customer. Definitely doing that by faith because I have a sense of who it is. But until I build my email list, I really don't know. I looked into Shopify and an email service and canceled the subscription for the craft club. Considering doing the same for Artful Parent. It's mostly videos, which doesn't help when most schools I work for don't often allow the technology to be used by the art teacher. Well, thank you everyone for stopping by Deeply Rooted. And if you're wondering how you can support me in the work that I'm doing <laughs> over the last 15 years as an artist and also, you know, teaching art and teaching young ones in a Montessori environment, um, here is how you can do that. You can uh, support this podcast. Uh, there is a tab that allows you to support me monthly. 
you can go over to my YouTube channel, subscribe um, there, and uh, even uh, click the notification bell if you would like art lessons on a very regular basis. Um, I am now at 399 subscribers, and the goal is to get to 1,000 so that I can start getting ads, which means that it helps and, you know, helps support what I do. Um, because I am committed to what I do, and I truly know that this would be the work I'm doing, whether or not I'm being supported, but I would love for you to uh, get in and become one of my collectors and supporters and um, just help move this uh, mission I have to um, promote healing and health through the arts uh, in my community and in the world. Um, yes, let me see. There's also art kits, sewing kits, art journal kits that are available over on my Etsy shop. And I also do have um, original arts and prints that are available. And if you are uh, following me on Instagram, you will see uh, those being posted on a pretty regular basis as well. So anyway, you guys, I uh, love so much that you are very much in the same vein as I am that know um, that so much of what the world is experiencing um, could change. And uh, we are part of the change. And I love that you are committed to being that change in the world. So thank you so much. I appreciate you. And thanks for stopping by.